Hi all, welcome to our session, and nice to see you all again with a lot of energy and enthusiasm. So, who wants to start? Pray. I can show. Yes, I can show. So we complete the last. Uh... Okay, so let me stop. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Okay. So. We were <clears throat> we were talking about uh, uh, this one. So on this one, we were curious about this uh, finish of the words. So Sangha the conversation Toy. between teacher and student, right? We have left few uh, sentences. Uh, yeah. Just a few. Uh, correct, yeah. correct. Teachers, students. Yep. <clears throat> so on this one, Sangha Toy, Actually, Rohan was telling us that it's sort of like a. Um, uh, um, colloquial way to say, for instance, Sangat Ahe. Right. Okay. Um, mm -hmm. I don't know what else uh, here. Uh, Raju is the name. Samju. Sam. Sam. Okay, Samju, another name. Rahu. Haraju, Samju, Lajok, Sangatoy. So in the chat, I have ping URL. So that talks about the short forms in spoken Marathi. Like as you said, that Sangto is the colloquial way. So it's uh, like a short form of Sangto Ahe. Achha, achha. So in the chat, I have given. Thank you. So what general short forms we use? So there will be different short form based on the uh, different dialects and regions of uh, Marathi and Maharashtra. But uh, this, these short forms are used in the uh, standard language as well. So you may even find them used in newspaper. And... Okay. Yeah. okay. Yeah, let's go ahead. Okay, good. <clears throat> so, so then in, uh, one thing that is uh, interesting to see here is that instead of kind of following the same structure of English, the structure here is different, right? Like Hara Rahu, which is the first uh, person, Samju, then, then you will kind of, if you're going to tell that someone is interacting uh, uh, and then you have two names, then you will just put them together. Then Hara Raju, Samju, La Jok Sangatoy. Sanju La, so two Sanju. Sanju? La. La. Ah, okay, yeah, this yeah. Um, particle here. Yeah. You can just put it together. I, this is not here, actually. Sanju La. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Two, two Sanju. Okay. <clears throat> that. Okay, moving on next. Uh, then Raju, he Jok. Samgayachi bel ahe. So samgayachi. Yeah, so there is time. a spelling mistake in my Marathi sentence. It is sangayachi. S capital A. By Mr. Rutan, it's sangayachi. So it should be S A. So I will rectify the lesson also. Samgayachi. Samgayachi. Okay. Right. Right to he took some guy at Sibel. Then is a uh, time to tell jokes. And then again, we're talking about this uh, particle like uh, chi here. Mm -hmm. And yeah, so, Sangane is the verb, and you have made uh, we have made the form as Sangai chi of saying. Of say, mm -hmm. <clears throat> okay. Then I can, then here Nahi by sorry. Think that. Let's find it. Tik ahe basa sagle kali. 
um, like bis sagal sagale besides to sit like like sort of be seated like it's sort of like uh, this two verbs you use so, so sagal is not verb sagal is all so all can, okay sagal so all like that sagal khali basa all sit down khali is down yeah 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 okay. khali okay yeah 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 okay just two words are separated like basa and khali you can arrange it differently sagal khali basa basa khali sagal any way you can say it Yeah, it's proper than word for word on this one. Damn. Hmm. Okay, okay. Uh huh. Then, if I hear no noise again, I will make it stand for whole period. But at Avat ala dar purna tavasa dasabhar ubhe tharin. Karin. Karin. Ubhe karin. So, avat is voice or sound. Avat. Yeah. To avat, it's masculine. Okay, okay. Okay, anyway, you can add if you have anything from your notes, so feel free to unmute and add. Parat is a conjunction. Sort of if. Parat is again. Again. Yeah. Oh, there is then the if is not there. Then it's just right, there. So if, yeah, so who, who has analyzed the sentence? Who can explain? Is there if in this sentence? Emily, Shoko, Alice, Santonella. Is there if? I don't know. Which one? Uh, yeah. In row oh, number forty-eight, the Marathi yeah. sentence. Yeah, forty-seven. Include it in the construction. Mm-hmm. Mm -hmm. So in English we have if else kind of structure. Is it there in Marathi mm -hmm. sentence? Oh yeah, if something. Mm -hmm. Yeah, I think I checked the uh, uh, lesson for this phrase. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Okay, Koshik, could you share the link? The page. Yeah. Mm -hmm. yes. So it's still, for me, it's very difficult to uh, mm -hmm. read. Is it small? Oh, let me put it bigger. Sorry. Better like this? Yep. Thank you. So I, I think it's Parat. Mm -mm -mm. Tar. Those mm. are if this, then, then. that. Right, right. So we use the pair zar tar. Zar can be omitted. So the sentence can be zar parat avazala tar, or it can be just parat avazala tar. So tar will indicate the next part as action. What tip? Sir. J, J A R. Third. Yeah. If then. Yeah. Yeah, this sweeps in. Sweeps in. Purn Tasabhar. Purn Tasabhar, like the whole Purn Tasabhar period. 
then Ubhe Karin. Ubhe Karin, like I will, I will make you Ubhe, like this is, sounds to me like Ut, like uh, to stand, but uh, this one is uh, different, Ubhe. <coughs> So ubha is standing, it's adjective. And ubha is plural. Because ut, ut is to, to get up. Ut. Yeah, ut is to stand up or get up. But is it out of this uh, adjective is out of the same bird? Utne. No. Or this. It is u b h ub, ubha. Ubha ne. No, so... Uh, ubha is the adjective. So ubha rahane is to uh, be in standing position. Harane. Oh. Uh -huh. Okay. Ubha like rahane. R A H A N. The two words ubha rahane. So it will based on the gender. It will be ubha rahane if it is a, the person is. A, Feminine, oh. ubhi rahane. So, ubha, ubhi, ubhe, based on the gender, it will change. So, because the teacher is talking to all the students, she has used ubhe, which is plural of ubha. Mm -hmm, mm -hmm. Okay. Okay, okay. Ubhe karin. She will make to stand. So how will you say I will stand for whole hour, a whole period? Okay. I will be in standing position for whole hour. Okay. Mal, so I'll, I'll write it here. I'll write it here. Yeah, everyone, please try that sentence. Okay, then me born mm -hmm. uh, uh, um, say tas tas we won't say tas right for tas like ek tas don tas yeah okay important tas yes. Ubhe, Ubha, because Ubha, Karin. Hmm. Think again. Emily, Shoko, it's your try. Uh, this sentence. Yeah. Uh, me. Yeah. Um. Me, Uva, Me, Uva, Rahin. So, Uva, Rahin is the verb here. So, it will be future tense, Rahin. Now, you will say, Ubi, Rahin. As a girl, you will say, Ubi, Rahin. Abhiram will say, Ubha Rahin. And if you want to say, we will stand, then how will you say? We will stand for whole hour. Or we will be in standing position for whole hour. I had a quick question about the verb at the end, about karin or um, rahin. Hmm? Um, why is it in instead of in? As in you can karin. Use, you can use both. In or in. Karin or karin. So for the verbs which are in, which ends with uh, a, you can use both. Karen, Karin, Baghen, Baghin. Okay. Bolin, Bolin. But when it ends with some other vowel like za, it's not zain. It's always zain. Okay. Thank you. Okay. Mm -hmm. 
I thought this one is um, he born has ube rahin ahe, but I'm I am th I'm wondering if this verb needs to change. No? Try the future tense of any any simple verb that you know that we will do. We will see. Oh. To Rahu instead of Rahinahe. Right. Ube Rahu. Like we said, Ami Karu, Ami Zau, Ami Kulu. True, true, true. Last week, last week yeah. we we and were not watching ahead, this. Only, only Rahu. Rahu only. Yeah. Without Rahe all the time. When you add Ahe, Hoto, that will make it perfect tense, right? Mm. Mm hmm Good. Thank you. Then let's start chapter. Thala, Dhara, Suru, Karu. Dhara. Then, then it's actually <laughs> the response was here only. Then. <laughs> yeah. Uh, yeah. Okay, okay. Then, then this was the link. Good. And then now, should I move then to the hotel? Hotel one, if anyone has already notes, like I don't know, Emily, you prefer I've to share them? I've got notes for the hotel one Okay, that I can I'll show. Stop. Yeah, good. I'll stop sharing. Okay. Oh, this is for the other one. Okay. <clears throat> so, again, this is the way that I laid it out last time. I have the verbs in the middle column and then all of the conjugations that lead up to the version that you see in the conversation. And then I've got all the other vocab words in the right column. And then mm -hmm. if I needed a link to the website, I put it on the side here. Okay. Okay, so Mitra. Uh, can you minimize Sarah. the left side pane? Is it possible? So that whole uh, sheet can be seen yeah. without horizontal scroll. Yeah. I you could do that. <laughs> <laughs> okay. <clears throat> Mitra, Zara, uh, men, menu, menu card, <laughs> uh, de Tosca. So, friend is here. Mitra zar, uh, za, Zara is a word that adds politeness, but it means a little. Mm -hmm. um, menu card, which is self-explanatory. And detos is you give. So de, dene is to give. De, deto, and then detos is you, second person, masculine right. singular present. What's up? Yes, good. Okay. And then ka adds the yes or no question. Menu mm card -hmm. dia. So dia was in the previous one with the grocery store conversation. Dia is just to give formal. Um, so please give me a menu card. Um, and these are all sort of standalone sentences. They're not a conversation or anything. So I'm just gonna. Garam kai ahe. So is there anything hot? Hmm. What is what is hot? So hmm. fresh or served hot? So yeah, so these kind of questions are generally asked in a, a very small, say roadside hotel where a few of the items will be ready and only those will get served. Like okay. instead of, rather than uh, uh, big restaurants where you have a menu and then you order from the menu. Okay. Yeah. And then, uh, thor, thor, wait, thanda, uh, kayahe. So opposite what is cold. 
uh, Idli Aheka is there, Idli. And then I've got, if people don't know what Idli is, I wrote it over here. Mm -hmm. So who has um, eaten Idli before? I, I have. have. I have. I prepare Idli. <laughs> oh, <laughs> Me Idli wow. when I've had stuff up. <laughs> <laughs> Ooh, okay. Uh, and then the next one, number six, is pizza. Pizza mirelka. So mm -hmm. is it uh, available? So it means to get, mm -hmm. but it, in this case, it means it's, they're asking if it's available for ordering. So can I get pizza? Is pizza available? Hmm. Um, are we good with all of that? Do, should I just keep going? Yeah, good for me. Show yes, yes, please. Yeah, yeah. Please go, Ben. Okay. Uh, order, Yaila, Kitty, Vera, Ver, uh, Lagel. So, Lagel is that verb that um, means everything. Um, <laughs> Order is easy. Yaila to come. Um, Kitty ve. So how much time will it take? Lagel in this case means how much period of time take. So how much time will it take for my order for the order to come? Mitra uh, azun. Tare, tale, nahi ka. So again, friend, Mitra. Um, Adzun, still or yet, and that's over here, or more. Um, tale, so this one means happened, but in this case it means to, uh, to be ready, ready. Nahi ka, so friend, still, not ready. Why is it still not ready? Yes. Yes or no? Is it still not ready? Sorry. Um, ek roti, uh, an ki, an ki, dia. So give me, please give me one more roti. Hmm. Mala, uh, adzun, so adzun is um, more or still, and then this one was up here, another. Anki, anki, uh, lo, loni is butter, mm -hmm. and have ahe, so have ahe is a conjugation of hava. Ahe to want. So, have a neutral singular. Yeah. For butter. I, I have one question. So, related to Azun mm -hmm. um, in Anki, mm -hmm. like, uh, yeah, more in another, I don't know. Uh, you can use either of this. Okay. Not like for countable, non-countable. Mm -hmm. Like for instance, if I will ask you to repeat, then I will say Ajun, uh, Ajun Ek, hmm. Paya. But I will say like, um, like, for instance, if you explain and I didn't get it the first time, then I can say um, Anki, Ankli, Anki, uh, ex explanation, uh, Dhiya, 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 can, like, can you give me another explanation? Like how can, you know, how can I say? Mm. Yes, you can say Anki explain Kara. Explain me more. 
अजून एक्सप्लेन करा आणखी एक्सप्लेन करा आणखी एकदा अजून एकदा आणखी एकदा सांगाल का कॅन यू टेल मी वन्स मोर वन मोर टाइम And how will you negate this sentence, number 10? What was the question? I'm sorry. Uh, row number 10, how will you negate it? Mm. I don't want. Mala, Anki, Loni, Have Nahi, is that? as easy as it is <laughs> so there will say nako instead of two oh, words nako okay mala ajun loni nako yeah and how will you make a question of it do you want or better um do you want more butter so tula mm-hmm. um anki or azun mm-hmm. uh, loni have have aheka have um or dileka do i give you more loni Hmm. Sorry? No, I was thinking if I can ask it, do I give you more uh, Loni, right? Two. Anki, Loni, Dilekha. Dilekha? Yeah. 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 Think again, think away, think away. <laughs> um, so it's like asking permission, right? May I do this? May, may I give you? So how do you say that kind of sentence? I think... Azun, Loni, Devu, Shakatika. Devu. Okay, yeah, I didn't know that. <laughs> so, simple can be Devu, shall I give you? and if you want to uh, so in this context you will ask us, shall i give you more and in other context if you want to say can i give you more so that time it will be do shakatika can we send that to the chat please <laughs> cuz yeah. i didn't know that before or the link that's fine too just take it give me link for the asking permission Okay. Did anybody else have any questions? Um no. <coughs> Thank you. Okay. No, it's fine. Thank you. Thank you. Okay. Okay, so the next one's go uh this one's really easy. <laughs> Bill dia. So give me the bill please. Belkiti um, Zale. So the same phrase was in the grocery store one where he's asking how much it was. So Zale um, is usually happened, but in this case, it's how much was it? How much was the bill? 
Ek warapa kitila. So how much is a warapa? So how much kiti la warapa? How much is one warapa? So who has eaten warapa before? Me. Me. Me warapa panavali. <laughs> You're way too <laughs> impressive. I have never made one of them. Rohan says he's never made one of all. <laughs> yeah, what about? I've what never is? eaten. Yeah. It's so good. You have not eaten chocolate? Yeah, never eaten, but I would try to try. Mm -hmm. But probably not, seen not it. Even in Pune? No, I have ne even never seen it. <laughs> oh, oh. Yeah, curious a bit. I'm very curious. Mm -hmm. <laughs> There's nice. an Indian restaurant that's near us that serves waterfall. Mm -hmm. oh. oh, is it in Pune? Is it available in Pune? <laughs> we, I mean, we live in America, so. <laughs> uh, yeah, yeah, right, right, right. Sorry, sorry, yes. You're okay. good. <laughs> in Pune and Mumbai, it's very famous uh, snack. Mm. Sweet snack. Sweet snack. It's a very it's a famous snack item. Spicy mm -hmm. and quick on the go. You can quickly have a wrap up and go. Mm -hmm. right. yeah, uh, she has also explained it potato with a fried ball on a bun. Mm -hmm. Okay. Yep. Uh, and this next one, ek dosa kitila. So, same thing, just with dosa this time. Um, <laughs> Did we want to talk about dosa too? <laughs> Same batter uh, that you can do for idli. Sometimes, sometimes <clears throat> you can also use the lentils and rice uh, to make the, the dosa. Mm. Okay. Mala, daha, vare, parcel, dia. So this was a new phrase for me. Um, parcel in American style English <laughs> becomes for takeout, like a takeout box. Like you order it, you go pick it up and you take it home. So parcel is ordering things for takeout. Uh, so mala, ten, wade, so wadas um, for takeout. Please give me ten, pars ten wade in a parcel for takeout. So when I visited a subway in US for the first time, I didn't understand what the guy is talking about. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, the takeout. Please. Do you want it for here or to go? <laughs> Where else would I get it? <laughs> okay. Sute or sute paise, paise. Um, spare change. Ahetka. Hmm. So, do you have any? Are, are, is there any spare change? Sute um, nahit nahit. So I don't have any. Hmm. Um, and the Rohan had to explain this to me this morning that ahet is referring to the coins and not to the person. <laughs> okay. <laughs> yeah. So ahet is for the object. Yeah. Um, so it's them, not it, or he or she. The uh, ha, minite. So is is minite something that people say, like instead of just minutes or minute? So while speaking, instead of minite, we will tend to use minute. Like when mm. we are talking for instead of zhale, it will be zhale. We'll say zhale. Right, so that short form will use like a, a dot about it, uh, minute, uh, minute. Okay, gotcha. Okay, so but in this one it says the ha minute tali, so it will take ten minutes. So uh, tali take in this case happen. Hmm. Um, jewar, um, a meal or food itself. Uh, 
azun ali ale nahi. So meal or food still more uh, ale coming came wait came or coming came came uh, nahi. So the food still hasn't. It's been ten minutes. But the food still hasn't come. Uh, idli, uh, mirel. So in, this is the same as earlier. Mirel is um, to get, but in this case it means available. So is there an idli available that I can order? Pizza, uh, mir mirnar. Mirnar nahi or pizza nahie. So this is the same thing as sangtoi from earlier, where nahi and ahe have been contracted to make nahie. Hmm. Um, so there is no pizza, or pizza is not, you can't get pizza. Pizza is not available. So you will not get pizza. Okay. Um, dha minite, minite, uh, lag, lagtil, lagtil. Um, so lagtil in this case is lagane from earlier. It will take 10 minutes. How will you make a uh, past tense of it? It took 10 minutes. Mm. We haven't practiced this in a long time. Lagatil. <laughs> yeah, that's the future tense. So in, but it becomes so. Uh, la, 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 lagle. The how many te lagle? Lagli. Neutral gender, so, so. Lagli. Yeah, neutral plural is lagli. Okay. Okay. I will say it will take one minute. It will take one minute. Ek minute lag. Uh, lagil. Lagel. Lagel, right. And it won't take ten minutes. Won't. I don't know if I know how to say that. Shoko, Paula. Uh, okay. Lagil. Hmm. Minute. Ah, minute. Lagil. Nahiya hai. Hmm. Think of it. Uh, wow. <laughs> uh, so Nahi, Nahi would go at the end. You can quickly check the lesson. Would you like me to pull up the lesson? Yes. Okay, and this is, um, we're looking for, is, this is um, future tense, right? Right. Okay. Future negative. In our uh, in our redoing of all of the lessons, we haven't gotten this far. So, <laughs> okay. okay. So here is the chart. Uh, yeah, go for the top of the. Yeah. Simple. Future tense. 
I will not do. Okay, here it is. Change the user function. Okay, so it won't take ten minutes. Ah. Ah, the ha minute. Lagnar nahi. Nahit. Nahit. Oh, right. yeah, because plural. it's plural, right? Plural. So yeah, nahit. Okay. Actually, let me. I'll put that in the the reference. So how will you say how I will not take more or another using Azun or Anki? Um, take. So is this still Lagnar, Lagan, Lagani, or is this um, the? Yeah. Okay, so I will not take another. Me or Mala to me. Uh, me. Uh, me. Um, Azun. Genar Nahi. Me a zoom, you're not nahi. Okay. Because I am full. Madha port, burla, ahi. Okay. <laughs> okay. So, last two. He, bhaji, a uh, gold. Wait, yeah, gold. A sel, a sel. So this dish, bhaji, the um, so bhaji can either be vegetables or a prepared meal. So bhaji in this case is probably a meal. He so the dish made from the vegetable. Okay. It can be a full meal. One of the dish of the made from vegetables. Okay. Okay. Um, good. Is sweet. Ah. Asel will be so. This meal will be sweet when it's prepared. Like you have gone to the uh, restaurant here, you have seen the menu, and from the name, you cannot understand what how it it will taste. So you may ask waiter about the taste. Okay. Okay, and then to say is this vegetarian? Sorry? If I if I'm trying to ask if something is vegetarian, mm -hmm. then I will just say is it is it bhaji? Te bhaji ahirka? No, you say jevan, which is which means full meal. And bhaji is the vegetable or a dish made from the vegetable. Mm -hmm. Okay. Not a meal. Okay, but then if if you're saying, it sounded like you said um, just bhaji and not it like is it vegetables instead of saying is it vegetarian. So how would you say is it vegetarian? Yeah. So in Marathi also we use the English word veg veg okay. jevan. So uh, then just Takahari. But people may get confused sometimes. If you use English word well, they will understand it better. Okay. <laughs> okay. Was was that all for this one? Do we want to move on? Yeah. Okay. Last one. He um dish uh the the cut the cut. Mm -hmm. So, tikat is spicy. Um, so, the same thing is this is this this dish will be hot. Yep. And how will you negate it? This um, dish won't be hot. He dish tikat 
थी कट असल नाही इज इट इज दॅट नाही असेल या सो नाही असेल इज काइंड ऑफ कंबाइंड इट विल बिकम नसेल सो इफ यू गो बॅक टू दी द लेसन दॅट यू हॅव ओपन सो इन दी वी स्क्रोल डाउन आई थिंक देयर वाज अ टेबल राइट ओके या या दिस टेबल गो अप अप so here it will we have the forms so as as same becomes na same me na same we will be okay. will be i i mean asu so negative will be nasu okay okay i'll i'll make sure to go over that lesson <laughs> that was nice yeah, good analysis that- so any question or from this lesson or do you want to try any variety of any of this sentence the question we have 5 more minutes mm-hmm. yes what about the next lesson mm-hmm. i think uh yeah better we study <laughs> in next in this lesson we can we can do some practice based on on that or else we share and then we do the practice but yeah so uh, you want to practice the the lesson is uh, the conversation we have seen so far you to take a new one yeah yeah uh, the questions are good for for me at least yeah i wonder would it be um would it be a good idea to do maybe one of these con- conversations on the list and then make our own based on sentences that we've learned like make your own sort of conversation in a grocery store or in a hotel or cuz the hotel one was all just standalone sentences we mm-hmm. could make a conversation based on that stuff yeah that's a nice idea mm-hmm. okay sounds good idea oh. i think mm-hmm. we have learned to make a uh, right some sentences based on the phrases we learned today i think yeah, yeah. so what do. you can do you can first Uh, write a natural conversation in english the way you will talk in uh, hotel and then just try to translate it in marathi as much as you possible and then we will discuss together whatever the uh, gaps so don't think from the marathi perspective that okay i know this sentence then i will write it uh, that sentence in english okay otherwise then it won't it may not sound uh, very natural so write in it in english first natural conversation and then try to translate and look for the new words from the dictionary and new verbs from the dictionary and then we will uh, try to uh, form the or uh, fill up the gaps okay does it sound good yeah which which uh, conversation sorry go ahead i think we said the same thing at the same time um did we are we picking a new conversation from the list also or are we just going to focus on doing making our own i will focus on making your own because that will take uh, an hour because if everyone is creating 10 sentences that still will have 30 odd sentences okay so total odd sentences so in hotel but we'll make it a conversation this time, next time okay good somebody else had something they wanted to say yeah. no no uh, that, that was for me thank you okay So are we going to use the sen- uh, some some phrases um we learn together for next lesson and then uh, based on this we are going to make some uh, right sentences am i right yes okay okay thank you yeah. thank you so much yeah thank you all thanks for joining see you next time with your homework yeah that's cool <laughs> Yeah. <laughs>
Thank you. Thanks, Coach. Bye. 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 B